He calls himself the modern Mowgli, Josh O'Sullivan. Good morning. Love ya. We run the course quite late. So 1.30 in the morning, I get up, do a little workout, try and get my heart rate up a little bit and mimic the, the same kind of intensity that I'm going to be in on the course. Another type of training that I do is I'll grab a rock, I try and visualise a course and lower my heart rate. And then I'm a tree climber, so I try and balance maybe like 30 metres up. Kind of mimics the fear that you would feel when you're stepping up to a balance obstacle. For me, it's all about getting in the right mindset. I couldn't be happier for where I am right now. Yeah, I can't wait to see how all that training pays off for Josh tonight. It's worked well for him in the heats. He went up the mega warped wall. He finished second on that night. And there's his partner, Betsy Burnett, clapping her hands. Unfortunately, the Disco Ninja didn't make it into the semis. Josh O'Sullivan. He takes the one, two step and flies through obstacle one. Rubs the hands together. In fact, he's given them just a bit of a dry to make sure that he's got the grip here on the rolling log. Hang on, Josh. Over, over, over. And off. He's safe, safe on the mat. Shake it off, shake it off, Joshy. Ninjas have different reasons for competing. Josh reckons this is his destiny. Ninja warrior and winning it. No pressure then, Josh. No pressure. On, he's so quick. Yeah, he is so quick. And he's so confident, and he really should be, shouldn't he? The ring toss now. This should be a walk in the park for Josh and his incredible upper body. Oh, oh, he missed that peg. Yeah, he's a bit shaky. He's back on track now with peg number four. The tough thing about this obstacle is you've got so many places to look. You're expected to look ahead, look behind, and then have a sense of how you're going to move that body onto the platform. That's the other thing you've got to be looking at. Your landing spot. There, oh, I thought he was going to go. I thought he was going to go. Not going to go again. He's gone back one. He does not want to make a mistake. This is hard too, getting your body in the right yes. direction. Well done. He corrects himself. That looked like hard work. But I'm afraid the next obstacle in front of him is even harder. This is where Josh O'Sullivan is hoping that hours and hours of training are going to come into practice. You got this. Feel the flow. Okay, here he goes. Off the tram. On the first floating bar, Lachey successfully. And now onto the solid bar. Okay, this next transition is the really tricky one. You can see he's adjusting his grip to prepare for the most challenging part of this obstacle. Come on, Josh O'Sullivan. Grip it and go. Into the scoop. Well done. Now get off there, Josh. And he makes it. Oh, that is done. He breathes a sigh of relief. That is probably the most difficult obstacle on this course. Straight up the warped wall, Josh O'Sullivan. Say hello to the Salmon Ladder. He's been here before. He knows how to attack this one. Just asking himself to calm down, control the adrenaline. Betsy Burnett yelling, screaming at her boyfriend from the sideline. We're seeing a lot of ninjas do this, aren't we? Centering themselves before taking on an obstacle. I don't think Freddie can quite understand what they're doing down there. <laughs> Here goes Joshua Sullivan on the salmon ladder. Yeah, and all that takes time as well. He's 40 seconds slower than Charlie Robbins. There's one, two, and three. And it's about now you are calling on all of your training all of the practice for this moment in the semi-finals needs to bring the legs up for this huge jump through the air and he sticks yes. it. Yes. Come on. That really separates the contenders from the champions, whether or not you can hang on to that last shelf. Keep that breathing going, come on. Coming into the home straight of the semi-final course, the bouncing spider. You almost feel this is like the calm before the storm. Get through this and then you're first with the invisible ladder. Yeah, he's got to bounce his way through this corridor. It's all hands and feet. All hands and feet and focus. We've only had one ninja up to the top of the invisible ladder tonight. Is Josh O'Sullivan about to be number two? Come on. Shoot through. 
Really steadying himself now. Needs to make sure that this jump down to the tramp is absolutely perfect. Go, Josh! Oh, wow. Radio. This is where it gets really nerve-wracking. Eight metres stands between Josh O'Sullivan and his shot at the $100,000 in the grand final. Oh, he wants the crowd. He wants the crowd. Urging the crowd to give him that little bit extra he needs to get up the invisible ladder. Josh O'Sullivan reaching for the rings. Oh, where are you going? Gee, our ninjas are struggling on this invisible ladder. What is going oh, look on? Look at the reach. He's pushing those arms up as much as he can. Josh is really using his legs and core to push himself up. Credit where it's due. He's at the six metre mark back. He's having to fight. He's having to work. He's in every muscle, every fibre in his body. Come on, Josh O'Sullivan. Oh. You've been here before. You were here for season one. You're here for season two. And you've made it into the grand final. sensational.